So, with um, hopefully going back to some face-to-face -face games soon, one of the things I'm going to miss is, of course, having music on tap. Like when I play on online, there's always music on tap, and the mood that can be nice, and sound effects is something I don't do a lot of. But I, I think I would like to get back into So when I go around um, the club and we play there, I've got a Bluetooth speaker, and I've got my, my trusty tablet. And with the tablet, basically, I've got an app, which is also available on here. You can see it on the screen already. It's called Sound's Tale, and I kick-started it, I don't know, two years ago, roughly. And I think it deserves a little bit of a, uh, a push, because I think it's really good. And I don't think many people know about it at all. Um, you can, I believe at this point, um, buy this on um, Android Marketplace or whatever, Google Store, or what is it called, Google Play these days. Um, I think cost about 12 quid or something, but I think it's definitely worth it. And you can get the download for the PC. I'm not sure you can buy it for the PC. Maybe you can, but you'll have to research that for yourself. So what does it do? Um, basically, it makes sounds and music. So let's let's imagine we are starting, and this is the, the app interface here, as you would look on the phone. Got a few more tricks on the up its sleeve. I'll show you those in a minute. But let's start. We'll have it. Town, we're in town, it's calm, it's nice, we're in a tavern, and let's see what's going on. So, first of all, I'm just going to do the ambient. You can switch off the English voices if you think they, they get in the way, or if you play in a different language. Yeah, I don't think they've got other voice samples, but you can actually get rid of this. So, sounds like a bit of a nice tavern somewhere. Oh, rude words. <sighs> yeah, you can hear the typical tavern sounds. Just for the background, I'm turning it up a bit here, but yeah, I would probably have it quite quietly for my games. So, oh, but what's a tavern, or actually an inn, or whatever you want to call it, uh, a pub without music? Let's have some music. So we put a bad soundtrack in the back. This is not um, recorded as such, it's actually being generated with random music samples being layered on top of each other. I think this is really impressive that these guys pull together here. So, perfect um, for the One Ring, maybe, and the Shire. We're having a good time. But then, it's, a, uh, it's gonna be the lively hour. I'm going to go to Vivid. Here the music changes seamlessly. Can I get a room for tonight? Yeah, you want more people in it? Add more people in the slot. And this is something you can do on the touch interface, um, on your phone, on your tablet, or on the computer here. Alright, so that's a level 7 hour. But let's go out to the market in the street, and I'm going to switch to daytime. Live it, let's leave it on the Some nice instrumentation in the background there. Got a fillet, drum. It's a frame drum. Yeah, really nice. And you can have it play in the background. Now the tall dark stranger walks into the into the market. What happens? Change the mood to tense. Yeah, and you can already hear, I hope, change. Yeah. More ominous. If you want it darker still, you can go from the light side to the dark side over here. That's a different direction as well. But let's switch on some rain. Layer some weather over here. Okay? I think I need some thunderclaps, right? So, we can draw in the menu from the side here, some, some sound effects on my soundboard here. Let's have church power. Let's do Storm, you get automatic 
Turn it down a bit so you can actually hear me as well. But isn't that good? I think that's good. Right. We've got lots of locations here, as you can see. And just with a few switches, um, they can change massively what's going on. And it's just a prompt. It doesn't inter interfere. Let's say we are now back in a magical port in the day. And it's a little bit windy, but there's no rain. stuff so and turn it on a bit um of course you're not going to spend your whole time in a town so if you want darker dungeons you can go to the darkness button and you can say okay i my guys are gonna be in a plague street now lake street okay it's gonna be creepy that's gonna be at night What's that for? It's fine. It's fine. I really like this. You can have it with music. You can see it's very minimal, if at all anything. It might come in occasionally, then it fades away again. Footsteps running. Let's make it a bit tense. That's some music. Overland journeys, you want to take your guys into a dark swamp. You always get one click if you go from one category to another. The first click will sort of brings open the menu, opens the menu for you, and the second click will then activate it. So you can get the scene just as you like it before you actually play it. So we're in a swamp. It ends. But maybe we shouldn't. Let's have a calm swamp. On a sunny day. Yeah? So what else have you got here? Meadow, coast, on the water, mine, cave, mountain. It's a magical forest. You can actually put this on in the background while you're popping your games. It's really relaxing music. Okay. And on the dungeon side, we've got Haunted Forest, Dead Marshes, Dark Meadow, Underwater, Haunted Ship. You see, it's the dark versions of everything. Dungeon. Mm, nice slide there. Okay. That was from the forest. Into the dungeon, the transition, yeah? So that's what I was saying. First click marks it, second one. That's pretty good. Let's have a fight. So for the fight, you can have a playful fight. Figured which sound samples are going to play in the background. So if you say I want to fight with magic and bow shots and hammers or something, you can change a few things here. These two buttons. You can have different um, resets. So this is a beastly fight if you like. But these sounds are being played in the background. You can uh, switch them on off. And then at the end, you can play a defeat sound. Just a coda. There you go. Now we know that the fight was lost. You have war drums. I really like the war drums. Good fun. Come on, The fighting sounds on top. Right. So you may think uh, the interface is sort of cramped a little bit. Um, I haven't even shown you half of it. There's much, much more this thing can do. Much more. So, as I said, you can mute the music and leave hit the effects or the other way around. But let me show you this. Turn that down a bit. <coughs> on the tablet, if you go um, landscape, portrait, or on this screen, if you widen it out a bit, you can get everything at the same time. So you can get the whole thing here, town, for example, 
I'm going to go back to my vivid town at the beginning. Click. On the right side. And we're going to go... Spinner, spinner, spinner. We're going to be in a village. Oh, why not? Clip top, clip top. Excellent. Must be the knights of the round table with my coconuts. So, we're going to be in a village. It's going to be calm. And night time. Oh, I was already at night time. I didn't notice that. Yeah, if I want to now create a little bit of soundboard here on the side, you can you can easily pick sounds. There's not many, but there's plenty of the sounds you can reset here. And I want to have a gust of wind in this. And again, it goes tense. Just, yeah, I love how that just transitions from one to the other. It just goes, mm, and you're straight in a different mood. And of course, you do this in the background. You have your phone, if you like, or your tablet, or, and the players will not necessarily know why you're doing This is a story telling to use it far too little so far because on, on the online play it's a bit trickier. But coming to that, down it down a bit. Online play on my left here, you can see that you've got the different settings for mixes. Um, but the key here is this app to app streaming. What you can actually do if you have players at home and you don't want to work out how to channel this into your Discord using V cable, audio cable, something with bananas or whatever, um, you can. In basically create a room on their server. Create a room here. You get a room number. You can copy that. Post it to them. They can download the free version of the app or use the PC version. Put that in, that number that you've just given them, and whatever you play will be with a short delay, a very short delay, will then also make it onto their own sound devices. So if you're playing online, People at home, this is a really neat way of doing it because you're not then pushing the um, the audio through Discord, so people can monitor the um, audio levels better. They can opt out of this entirely and just not do it. Yeah, if they don't like music or if it interferes with them understanding you, um, so it's lots of good stuff on this. So check it out. I think it's definitely worth the money I spent on this. I would have quite happily spent a lot more on that, but I didn't need to. So, you also, of course, can create your own custom scenes. But yeah, and there's much more, as I said, advanced atmosphere buttons here. You can patch stuff onto um, onto music. Or you can have a minim minimalist view of it. Look here up in the corner, this little bit. That's what it is. Yeah, so not take up your screen space. As I said, you can tell I like this. So, let's finish with an epic fight. this out and I think I'll leave it there.